Okay, Doc, so we are back on your kudu hunt. It's now so, session number how much? Uh, number five. Number five. Okay, so you were on the sticks twice this morning. You saw a big bull, <coughs> nice and white. That's exactly what you want. So we're going to see if we can find him again this afternoon. We're going to hunt more or less the same area. We've changed PHS this morning. You were with Eric. and uh, But yeah, hopefully the, our luck turns a little bit. We started off very well, but now the grey ghost is keeping us busy. So hopefully, yeah. hopefully we'll uh, we'll be uh, a bit luckier this afternoon. The bush is still very thick, as you guys can see, um, after very good rain, and that's that's making the hunting a little bit more interesting. But yeah, duck. Hopefully we're gonna have a little of luck this afternoon. I hope so. Should be a great day. Yeah. We're looking at one bull standing in the bush there, but the problem is we really can't judge the trophy from here. He's standing in that bush there, um, so it's extremely difficult to try and see if it is that bull we're looking for. Um, so we're going to see the wind is good. We're still sitting here in the rain, so let's see what's happening. Almost looks like he moved now, I'm not sure. The duck has moved about 20 to 30 yards closer. The bull is still standing there. We've got sights on him. But the problem is we can't judge the quality of the trophy. On the body I can clearly see it's a big bull. But that's basically all we can see. It's a body we haven't seen the Buddha the horns yet we've got a good look at the head yeah, i can see it's early on i can see yeah it. okay doc i'm gonna check on my with the binos again right so he moved off a little bit um he's definitely not standing there we can still hear him there we go again you can hear the how he barks so he is worried he knows we something is not right so i'm gonna leave him for So me and Doug has changed strategies a little bit. We have put ball on the spoor and try and cut in front of those two balls. Um, we're sitting here in a straight open area that uh, we can have, hopefully they're going to cross here. Um, we've got some pigs coming out now, young pigs. Or dogs. Um, but yeah, we'll see if our plan is going to work. So Doc, all our plans didn't work, um, we saw them again, they joined up with uh, some females, but uh, I'm, well, surely it's not the right bull we were after, so we're glad we didn't take that shot, um, we just saw some f more females now, but no big bulls yet, so, yeah, so we just continue the hunt. For the grey ghost. So Doc, this is our last full day of hunting in Africa. We still need your kudu. Um, yesterday we didn't have any luck with all our plans. So we driving around a little bit this morning and haven't seen a big bull yet. Um, we're going to try something totally different. We're going to try and uh, sit in front almost try and ambush them but yeah let's see, let's see what we can okay so me and Doug is back on Mariku the morning we did only saw two younger bulls and then we went for our COVID test um, so Samuel and the other tracker here on Mariku they they were driving around while we weren't there yeah and uh, they confident that they saw a big kudu bull in this area so yeah we we are uh, stretching the afternoon session a little bit, Doc. 
we it's now one o'clock normally we go out at three but uh, yeah hopefully we're gonna have a bit more luck this afternoon yeah, I hope so it's actually our last last afternoon la last afternoon okay, so hopefully we're gonna spot that big kudu bull soon so duck um, we spotted two nice bulls the one a bit younger the other one a mature bull We'll see. And uh, but let's see if we can get closer. Okay. Very much. 
at the back. Yeah, you can, you can shoot through that brush. At it. last, last afternoon. After eight, eight attempts. Eight attempts. We've got a big kudu down. We've got a big kudu down. We've, we've lost, the, ach, we've left a lot of kudu bulls. And, uh, yeah, we saw this one the last afternoon with the younger bull. Beautiful bull. After 40 years of dreaming about a kudu. Yes, look, like, it. look at that thing's neck. Nice old thick neck bull. Well done, Duck, at last. Thank you, John. Duck. It was a privilege hunting with you. Okay, you huh? Yes, so. We almost thought at one stage we're not going to get the kudu, eh? Uh, I did think that. Yes. Mm. Ah, uh, old boy. Ah, uh, old boy. Yes. Yeah, finally got the grey ghost. Yes. At last. At last. Huh? Duck. Look at these gorgeous. <laughs> Pick up the eight a little bit, Duck. Show us what you've got there. Well done. Well done. He even has some decent width to him. Oh, he's a nice bull. He's a very nice bull. I, when I first saw him, I said roughly about 50 inches. I still think he's very close to 50 inches if he's not a little bit above 50 inches, but that doesn't, I don't care about that. He's an old mature bull. He's got a thick neck. Beautiful body. Two lonely bulls walking together. You could definitely see he's the older one of the two. Um, but yeah. Duck, what a privilege to be hunting these things, hey? Uh, if you look through any kudu spiral, you will see the eye. And that's how they actually work and fight. And you can actually see that green on his, on his head. That's how they eat the bushes and try to get the leaves down and, and uh, yeah, just work. Oh, look at the size of his ears. Yeah, that's what makes them such weary is these big ears okay duck they into a beautiful hunting yeah. trip hey eh? yeah, it's been a great trip yeah. and a great way to end it a great way nice kudu bull well done we really enjoyed hunting with you and hope to see you in future again duck uh, i will most definitely be back oh that's good Congrats. Thank you.